conservation of energy we have point A which is 19.6 meters above point B we have established the zero level at point B here is the question an object at rest is let go from point A vertical height 19.6 meters what is the speed of the object at B ignore frictional and rotational energies welcome to hdtvedu.com direct and simple education in seconds when we let go of an object from a certain height do not forget we let it go from rest that means what it has energy due to position because it was at rest the speed is zero if speed is zero energy due to motion at the start is zero as it falls the height reduces total energy is conserved so what happens height gets reduced so this the energy due to motion has to increase so total mechanical energy at a where we let go of the object equals total mechanical energy at the point b energy due to motion at point a plus energy due to position at point a equals energy due to motion at point b plus energy due to position at point b energy due to motion at point a is one half mv squared kinetic energy is one half mv squared what is m mass in kg what is v the speed in meters per second when we are at rest what is the speed zero energy due to motion at point a is zero how about energy due to position at point a point a is at 19.6 meters from the zero level and please don't forget that h can be positive zero or negative in this case our point a is above point b so we have 19.6 meters positive so what is the energy due to position at point a it's same gh so mass times acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second per second and then we have height 19.6 so total mechanical energy at a equals energy due to motion at a plus energy due to position at a so energy due to motion is zero energy due to position is that so when we add we get this m times 9.8 times 19.6 now let us look at point b at point b the object is in motion so we definitely have the speed speed is not zero anymore so we have one half mv squared energy due to energy due to motion at b how about energy due to position at b it is mgh but we have established the zero level at point b so what is the height of point b from the zero level if point b is at the zero level it is zero so energy due to position is zero so we have energy due to motion at b one half mv squared energy due to position at b zero so what is the total one half mv squared so one half mv squared and m times g times h set the two equal to each other and you get mgh is equal to one half mv squared cancel mass cancel mass so what does that mean gh is equal to v squared over two so you have gh is equal to v squared over two so what is it that we see now we see that there is a division by 2 so we need to multiply both sides by 2 so you get 2 gh is equal to v squared and the next step is very obvious take square root on both sides for us to get the speed and we get v is equal to square root of 2 gh substitute h 19.6 substitute g 9.8 we put all the magnitudes in here okay so we have 9.8 for g h equals 19.6 and you substitute all the numbers 2 times 9.8 times 19.6 take square root and what do we get 19.6 meters per second as the speed and this is george matthew signing off good luck
hey, do well.